Oh boy, this one is gonna get me in trouble, I'm sure, just because of the topic. So, YouTube AI bot, you mind getting your context libraries in order and ready to, uh, you know, shine when you evaluate this video? Because context is key here. Let's see how smart you've become after all these years, now that I gave you a whopper of a hint. I know you're listening, so beware, I know you're out there. And with that out of the way, go ahead, Eddie, make my day. And that was an unintentional rhyme. Ah, uh, Halloween. A time when women make any costume sexy. I'm a sexy hamburger. I'm like, totally sexy corn. I cause cancer. What, what did you say? I mean... I'm sexy bacon. A cancer joke about bacon? I, I don't think we can be friends anymore, Eddie. I mean, you just cause a tremor amongst my subscribers, and I bet even your subscribers with that rather cracking joke there. It's also a time when guys can dress like women without it being totally gay. I'm a sexy woman. Oh, God. Hey, hey, where did Eddie go? Where did Eddie go? Eddie, where did you go? Haha, <laughs> look at that, Eddie is back. Hi, Eddie. Yes, yes, don't worry. Come on out, he's he's gone. Oh, God. <laughs> you reckon he's gonna keep doing that? I hope he comes back, though. Oh, there he is. Hi, Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Oh, God. All right, <laughs> it's, it's no longer funny anymore. Eddie, come on out, man. We, we need to talk. We need to talk about your video. Come on. This cat has some serious issues, huh? Most importantly, it's a time when white people lose their minds and think that these costumes are a good idea. He's my horse. Let's get drunk, senor. <laughs> yeah, well, as if, mate. <laughs> That's a donkey. I know my black friends feel our pain. W-T-F. How is this even possible? I know, right? Okay, everybody say it with me. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Ah. How about now? What the fuck did you just say? No, 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 ma no memes? Hey, <laughs> does this look like the face of a man who memes? Mm -mm -mm. For us Mexicans, it's a culture, not a costume. Ah, cultural appropriation. That's not a thing, mate. That's just something you made up to take offense. Like, uh, you know, are you a professional offense taker? I bet you are. And it's not even an accurate one. No, it's supposed to be a stereotypical one. Because it's supposed to be funny. You do not do the funny thing. Well, you're kind of a funny guy, so I don't understand why you don't understand the joke. Seems like you are focusing on this uh, cultural appropriation. Is that the thing? Is it not cultural inappropriation? That seems more fitting, though. Still doesn't make sense. This is not what a working class Mexican looks like. Oh, so you mean the costume should be realistic, right? Like this Mexican taco truck? Creative, but no. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's not how a truck works. You sit behind the wheel, you don't... Uh, I mean, it's supposed to be funny. Why doesn't he get the joke? He's a funny guy. <laughs> what do you mean I'm funny? <laughs> oh shit, Tommy. Well, well, the, the, the way you tell the story is it's really funny. <laughs> what do you mean? You mean the way I talk? What? No, not the way you talk. I mean, I, I'm the foremost expert on all accents and you don't have an accent. Funny how? I mean, what's funny about it? <laughs> you know, just... The way you tell the story, Tommy. You mean, so? let me understand this, because I, you know, maybe it's me, I'm a little fucked up, maybe. But I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you. I make you laugh. I'm here to fucking amuse you. What do you mean funny? Funny how? How am I funny? Well, I could sentence you to be a gesture in the order of the silly. I mean, y you know. No, no, I don't know. You said it. How do I know? You said I'm funny. How the fuck am I funny? What the fuck is so funny about me? Tell me. Tell me what's funny. All right, calm down, Tommy. <laughs> get, get the fuck off my case here. You motherfucker! I almost had him. I almost had him. <laughs> yeah, stuttering prick. Yeah. How would you feel if Mexicans dress as something that you hold dear, like a U.S. war veteran? A U.S. war veteran will work for candy. What is he supposed to be a drifter? Is this some kind of uh, below the belt job at U.S. war veterans? But guess what, Eddie? We don't care. Even if you're doing an insulting version like this, we still don't care. But what about the ones I showed, like uh, white girls, huh? Using your logic, that is also a no-no. And what about Italian gangsters, hmm? Or, you know, the Irish gal that was just standing here a few moments ago. She, she's, she's in the castle now, I think. I think she took her uh, uh, gangster uh, friend uh, with her. 
But hey, the point is, those are stereotypical things about the Irish people, about the Italian people. So, you know, I don't see them whining about it. And there's plenty more of those uh, examples. That's a homeless person. I know. Oh no, look at Edgy Eddie. Or something that is very stereotypical of your race, like a serial killer. <gasps> I see what you did there. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Hey, hey, did you see my reaction? <laughs> I mean, what are you doing, Eddie? You might want to take notes. Or a NASCAR fan. Hmm. That's actually a pretty good costume for a pregnant woman. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> They're making a left turn. That's what they do, right? That's uh, and they drink beer and they they yell at exploding exploding cars. Hey, hey, Eddie, wanna hear a little secret? We. <laughs> oh wait, I already did that. But yeah, we don't care. You know, Eddie, now pay attention here, boy. You might learn something. The thing is, you have this rather strange need to make everything about this about race. Racism in and of itself loses all meaning when constantly used like this. Now, there are actually real and dangerous racists out there. But you being offended about something someone does or says has absolutely no bearing on it being racist or not. However, you and people like you pulling these racism cards left and right only serves to dilute the meaning of the term. The mere fact you want to segregate people into their own races by excluding them from certain things, in this case wearing costumes on Halloween, stereotypical of certain cultures. To my Dutch eyes, uh, because this appears to be a mostly a United States of America kind of thing, due to the rather sketchy and unfounded claim of the power differences between the so-called races, it looks like you are the one practicing a mild form of racism yourself. You are part of the problem by creating a non-existent problem. I mean, stereotyping for the sake of comedy, satire or amusement is quite similar to how pineapples relate to pizza. <laughs> some people like it, and some people get highly offended by it, and we all know offense is taken, not given. Stop meddling with other people's pizzas, Eddie. What I'm saying is that a lot of Latinos find your stereotypical costumes offensive. Well, boohoo, Latinos. Maybe grow a thicker skin, hmm? Also, a lot of Latinos. Citation needed. Because most of it seems to be internet outrage. In large part because they're not very creative, but mainly because these stereotypes are so burnt out and inaccurate. What about an avocado? Is that a fence then? What? Why would? Why would a vegetable? What? Wait, it's a it's a fruit. Is it a fruit? I think it's a fruit. It it looks like a fruit. But that is supposed to be offensive related to Mexicans, Latinos. Why? Because. It's part of your diet? Now, you know, they have a word for the Dutch as well, called cheesehead. <laughs> you know what? We don't give a fuck. Like, at all. It just means we have the best cheese in the world. Like, Gouda, Edammer. But somehow, someone dressing up as an avocado uh, is supposed to be racist. Really? Well, enlighten us with your words there, Eddie. I can't wait. Actually, that's a pretty good costume for a pregnant woman. Uh, I'm a guy. I know. <laughs> so, I mean, seriously, how can a funny guy like you don't understand the bloody humor? And was that good grammar? I don't give a damn if it's good grammar or not. You know what I mean. <laughs> a pregnant woman. I know. <laughs> hey, that's some good shit there. Look, people are going to wear what they're going to wear. And maybe you shouldn't care what they're going to wear. Now, that's an unintentional rhyme. Or is it? But just be aware, go to the wrong neighborhood in that costume and they may mistake you for a piñata, if you know what I mean. Ouch, man! Me duele! Me duele! Uh-huh. Love how you're trying to get some threats of violence in there. You don't see the issue being the ones beating up the fella on the floor? Now I know it's a joke, but hey, if you're constantly on the lookout to classify the next big thing as racist, you need to take a step back, take a deep breath, adjust your sombrero, and just stop trying to turn everything into a race game. Just because you feel like you're the next big anti-racism guru, or rather part of a professional offended group, that just seems to keep growing like some kind of weed. Don't worry though, the weed whacker has arrived. I mean, I'm here, aren't I? What's the matter, Eddie? That doesn't sound as bad as... Well, tough titties. You know nothing, Eddie G. Was that sexist? May maybe. I don't know. I just heard the expression some time ago. Tough titties. So, you know, tough titties. And I'm a simple man.
Anyway, I don't want to leave on a bad note, so here are some of my favorite costumes in no particular order. I give this costume the Thug Life Award. What you looking at, Issy? This is my favorite couple's costume and my favorite kid costume. But what about these two paleteros? Last but not least, here's the most inspirational, Frida Kahlo. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, that kid is part in a unibrow and a little mustache. Oh, that's adorable. Wait a minute, Eddie. These are stereotypical. Hmm, yes, Eddie. These are stereotypical, but, you know, it seems like you're not taking offense here, so I don't see what the problem is. What's the problem, Eddie? Please enlighten me. Only we can do it. When you do it, it's racist. Well, shit. I'll be right back to, uh, slap that around a bit. Wow. That seems rather racist there, uh, Eddie. You know what might help you out there? Stop seeing races. Because I don't see races and don't see any issue with it. Where you see races and want to segregate everything. So, don't you see the inherent problem with that? Uh. How's it going, Regicow? Is that your new costume? Let me see, you're, um, let's see, Elsa from Frozen, right? Uh. Well, I have some bad news for ya. Eddie here uh, would call you a racist because you are a cow and you shouldn't be allowed to culturally appropriate the Norwegian culture or Scandinavian culture, if you will. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, pay him no mind though. He's a bit odd and has no point in any way, shape, or form, even if he thinks he does. Hey, have fun trick or treating, Radjika. Uh. Alrighty, don't be so fucking rude, mate. Trust me, you don't want to piss off Radjikao. She has Matrix powers and can show up at any time. She can also poof into existence next to you, and then you're gonna have a problem. But hey, since you're here, let me blow your mind, Eddie. Now mind you, this is a surefire way to get demonetized for this video, because... <laughs> take the word nigger, for example. Now over in the Netherlands, it has lost all its meaning because we don't censor. Censoring only serves to make a word exponentially more powerful. Over here, it has lost all of its power, and wanna know what happened? We don't have some strange need to use the word at all. It's a natural development instead of an artificial enforced one. Which is one of the prime causes for all these racial tensions over there in your country. Everyone's offended by everything, and everything is offensive to anyone. And that's not a way to live, mate. It only serves to cause all kinds of tensions. And it looks to me like it's just for the sake of tensions. Now, like I said, the Dutch don't censor anything, but hey, since YouTube is also an American company, I'm gonna predict the yellow dollar sign of doom, or heck, even a fully demonetized video for this particular one, uh, because of the mere mentioning of the word, which took what? A full second, more or less, compared to the runtime of this video? It would appear the AI bot doesn't really care about context. Kinda similar to how I recall some American news anchor lady going ballistic because someone said the word to address something related to it. This fake outrage disgusts me. That, oh look at me being offended on behalf of, or rather for the sake of making myself look good and feel better. Lady, you just made yourself look like another dick flute. But do go on, Eddie. F forget it. Forget it, eh? How about some honorable mentions instead? Uh And why not finish with some fancy music? Take it away, Q! I'm forgiven! It's racist. Oh, you're so stolid! <laughs> indeed! And Eddie? Hi, Eddie! Oh, God! <laughs> that shit never got sold. So, I sentence you to be a jester in the order of the sillies, Eddie G. I do hope you enjoy your stay. Now, mind you, you are a bit less silly than my actual sillies in there, so I'm not entirely sure if you are jester material. But for now, you have to make do in the silly dungeon. But I'm sure your appeals will be better than the others. And with that, Go ahead and tickle the bell and all things around it. Uh, that's not how it goes. But looks like I don't care because I've got bats. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. You want to know how to end racism? Stop talking about it. <laughs>